Miss Gail Foreman, would this be you? Then why is your name Gail Foreman? It says it's your name in the book. The yellow one. Stupid. Hi, I am Skylar. That's my name. Ever since I finished just one year, I've been hunting down Gail Foreman. I know she lives in New York City, so it shouldn't be that hard. Gail? Ben, I call it a Gail. Well. <laughs> I spent the last two weeks searching through those big yellow books, calling every Gail Foreman related number that I could find. Is this Gail Foreman? Did you write just one day? Then you're not Gail Foreman. Gail Foreman? Foreman comma Gail? Am I speaking with Foreman comma Gail? Are you an author? Why is your name Gail Foreman? Did you know that's plagiarism? Plagiar- you stole someone else's name and you're pretending it's yours. <sighs> no success yet. So the other day I started using the internet. I haven't spoken to Gail yet, but I have a promising lead. This book is special. It moved me. But it ends on sort of a cliffhanger. But there's a sequel to this book, Just One Day, and it's called Just One Year. So I picked up the sequel, and I read the sequel, and it wasn't a sequel. It was this story told from a different point of view. Why would Gail do this to us? Both books end at the same point in time. Why? Why would the sequel end at the same point as the first book in the series? Tomorrow I'm going to New York. I am rather excited to follow this lead. Vis-a-vis -vis locating Gail Foreman. Vis-a-vis -vis sequel. said office lead. The plan is simple. What I'm going to do is sit and wait to hear Gail's name. Patience is key in every good detective's life. I will wait if it takes me forever for her name to be spoken and then I will follow that person and I will find her. You're gonna be impressed because I know you think I won't. Here, I just saw her. I went down the halls and I knocked on all the doors because I knew Gail was behind one of those doors. Are you Gail Foreman? No. <sighs> Are you Gail Foreman? No. <laughs> Today was a really great day. Are you Gail Foreman? Yeah. I found her. Can I help you? Excuse me. Just. I feel like we really hit it off. Things just flowed between us. I have to talk to you, please. Um, can you please just, can you step backwards? Um, and can I come in? Uh, I, I, I guess so. Sit down. Right? Yeah, right. That, that's good. Sure. That would be good. Thank you. So you're you wrote these. Yeah. Yeah. This this camera here, like, um, don't look at the camera. Since uh, I have to, this is important. My I'm documenting my life. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. We had this really great conversation. I came here to tell you that you have to. Right? I need to know what happens after the doors and I I just please write it and you have to. Okay. 
What do you mean, okay? I mean, okay. I mean, I've actually written that. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I don't... I read the, the, both books. Right, but there is a third part called Just One Night that you haven't read, but that I've written, and you'll be able to read on May 29th. I need to see it now. Um, no, you can see it on May 29th. No, now. No, it's on my computer now. I'm still working on it, but it'll be, nope, you, I'm going to have to call security if you come in here with me. I'm going to call my security if you get any closer. Did I threaten Gail? We had polite conversation. It'll be out on May 29th, which is like in a month. It's in no time. May 29th. Now. No, just... Right, and I'm right. still working on... No, it's, it's on my computer. It's, it's not ready for you to see yet. But I... But I... I can see it now? Is no, what you're saying. you can't see it now. I'm saying you can see it on the 29th of May. Look, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. No, because it's my office. And if you don't leave, like... Just I tell me what happened! I'm not going to tell you what happens, and if you don't leave, I am going to do unspeakably bad things to Willem and Allison. I have that power. Oh. Willem falls off a cliff in front of a She's bus. bluffing. She's bluffing. Bluffs. Hi, security. I've got a bit of a... a crazy fan up here, and um, she's getting a little misery on me in terms of demanding a book. Security, um, right? And I'm wondering need, if you can come get her out here. Come up here, please. Backup needed. Floor 57. A sap. Thank you. I called. So. Okay, great. Well, your security can talk to my security. My security is real. Yes, my security is real. They stormed her office after I left and gave her flowers. Just May 29th, you will find blink, out everything you need to know. Blink once if, if they all die, and then blink five times if they don't. I can't tell, was that one or five? I don't know if that was one or five blinks. Thank you. My security will be here. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 I'm gonna get to find out what happens after the door opened! Ha <laughs> ha! Success. feel successful. After that, I was really excited. So I did do a few laps around the office and security did catch me. But I don't care because I convinced Gail Foreman to write a novella. Stop saying that. I did convince her. She wasn't already writing it. I don't care what she said. That was a bluff. I'm going to wait for May 29th. And on May 29th, I am going to sit and gloriously read 50 pages of the end of just one day and maybe throw a party in my honor since this is because I convinced her. I did convince her. Whatever, believe what you want to believe. I believe the truth, which is my what I said. <laughs> Security. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Hello! Hi! I'm Chris.
Christine. I'm Gail. Gail is releasing a novella that explains what happens after they open the door. Just one night. It tells you everything <laughs> you need to know after the door opens, the door closes, the kiss happens. I've heard you, readers, and <laughs> I kind of was wanting to know too. So I wrote it down, and it was very fun visiting it was very nice all of you to of the write characters. this. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.